So as you know, Thought Park like to tease us a lot. Whether those teasers mean anything or not, uh, they know and we'll have to find out. But recently, uh, well, <laughs> not recently because, uh, like I say every time, this video is probably days late from when it actually happened. Weeks, months, even maybe a year. That's right guys, this may be old news to you whenever this comes out, but 2018 is the year of The Walking Dead. I can't believe it. But on a more serious note, recently Thought Park have tweeted some photos of their coasters with a glitch effect over them. I don't mean to be that guy who kind of just says, no, that's not gonna happen to speculation, because it's speculation and people have a lot of fun with it. Uh, I'm not here to do that. But, anyone who says stealth will go backwards. They can go on it and they'll realise it'll snap their neck in half. Okay, that, that was a, a little bit harsh, but you get my point. I, I don't see stealth, brave it backwards, being a possibility in human physics. Human physics? Human... Yeah, whatever. But back to the glitchy photos, there was one of stealth like quite a while back that they deleted and it was I think it was three or four people outside stealth. I'll try and find it even if I can't I'll <laughs> I'll remake it poorly, but there you go. But there was four people or three outside of stealth and their faces were blurred and it was something like uh, a teaser in the caption or whatever. Recently there was another stealth one where it was just the usual photo they use for a lot of their marketing and it just had a glitch effect over it and then even more recent on Valentine's Day they tweeted out a picture of Nemesis Inferno's vertical loop mirrored to make a love heart uh, a lot of people did that that day uh, I was tempted to join the bandwagon but I didn't because uh, I knew I'd mess it up and I'd probably end up flipping a, an airtime hill and it would just become some M like the McDonald's I'm not sponsored uh, but yeah these all kind of lead to the fact that something's going to come in 2020 whether it be big or not really a massive scale attraction. I have jokingly said that uh, Stealth is going to get VR, which if that does happen then uh, I, I sincerely hope it ends up like Galactica and they remove it because Stealth would be ruined with VR. It's, it's too good to have VR on it. But genuinely, in my opinion, I think it will be some kind of small scale VR attraction uh, like they did at Fright Nights with Player Ready VR, I think it was called. Uh, some horror experience of VR. Uh, I think they did Fanta the 13th floor at one point as well. Uh, you know, I haven't done either of them two, and I haven't really heard many reviews of them, but I'm sure they're all right. And if they do add something like this, again, it'll be like last year, it'll be filler stuff for hopefully a brand new investment in the future. No doubt before we actually get an announcement, like an official one from the park saying what's coming, there'll be another two or three teasers, because uh, they haven't actually done Swarm, Colossus, or Saw, so you never really know at this point what they're going to tease the glitch effect on next. Uh, genuinely speaking, of course, every single time they post a post on Instagram, people will reply with RMC. So I can imagine when they post a Saw one, there'll be a caption, something like, probably like, oh, brave the 100 degree drop on Saw. Have you ever been this coaster? And people in the comments would be like, oh, you can turn 100 degrees to the right of this phone, you can see Logger's Leap. That means they've teased that the new RMC is coming. 100 degrees also has three digits. People in the Instagram comments, I put a comment saying that I'd like to see uh, WWTP Radio Van back. Uh, that's a genuine kind of thing that they could. The RMC, I don't see it going up over the course of a month, but you do you. But then again, you could even interpret this entire thing. It's just a whole game of interpreting what. So, you could just sit there and go, the initialising thing, if they are initialising 2020, that is the start of a big investment, and they will start building and initialising something for the future. Then again, it says initialising 2020 as a specific year, meaning something might be coming that year. Who knows at this point? It's it's unclear. Uh, you've just got loads of people going down to Monk's Walk to try and peer over the fence and see what's happened, which includes me. And when I went, I couldn't see shit. Well, actually, I did see quite a bit. Uh, Nemesis Inferno had a lot of scaffolding around it, and uh, there was some other things. If you want to go check that video out, it's in the top right right now. Top, yeah. But I don't really have anything more I can say. I'd expect an announcement uh, pretty soon maybe in the next couple of weeks uh, if you are planning on going to Thought Park annual pass day or you're not sure whether it's happening or not um, if it hasn't been announced by the park on Twitter and whatnot by now it is happening on the 21st and I should be going so 
if you do see me, feel free to say hi. That actually brings me on to another thing. Uh, you may be like, oh, how am I supposed to see you when I don't even know what you look like? Uh, I am in all my thumbnails. Uh, I don't know why I don't show my face in my videos, but that will change. I'm doing a Q&A eventually uh, because people voted on Twitter and Instagram saying they want to see one. And I will be doing that, and that will be a proper sit-down video, which I've never done before. So, uh, here's to whenever that happens in the next five years. But, more importantly, what were you guys' thoughts on, what were your guys' thoughts on the teasers that Thor Park have released? What do you think will happen? Do you think similar to me? Or do you, are you one of those people who thinks, uh, Smiler's gonna come over to Thor Park and we're gonna lose Vortex in place of it? You never know these days. But yeah, tell me what your thoughts are in the comments of those teasers. And if you want to subscribe, you can do. I'll be making some more videos recently. I've got more ideas now. And I'm not ill anymore. Although you can probably still hear it a little bit in my voice. But I'm getting better. If you want to join the Discord server, you can see a little bit of behind the scenes maybe of certain videos uh, when I release it. And also I am in voice chats quite a lot. If you want to come join that. Uh, whatever floats your boat, whatever sinks your soar alive. Thank you for watching, and big one didn't break at the weekend. Oh god, what am I gonna do? Built by